Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Hey, we're looking at servers this morning. So we've got a, a server, a new server that we're putting into a data center, and we put four one terabyte drives in a RAID 5 array. And uh, when we went to install Hyper-V server on it, I could only get two terabytes out, nothing more. And so we're trying to figure out, you know, do we need to use Secure Boot? What do we need to get, do to get more? I figured it out. I'm going to show you what uh, what we need to do to do that. Uh, but before we do, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Helia Canada. Also, I've got a coupon for you at the end of the video for our online store, buyphonesonline.ca. And we've got uh, lots of VoIP equipment, all Canadian prices, all shipped from uh, Canada, ubiquity equipment, lots of great stuff. So check that out as well. Uh, I'm Dar with the Helia Technology Report. Let's jump in see how this is done. So here I am on the server and this is the problem. You can see I've got a two terabyte or a 2048 gigabyte partition and I can't allocate this uh, second uh, space of uh, 476. This is a total of about three terabytes on this uh, RAID controller. And once I install it on here, this 746 gigs is still not available. So we're gonna go uh, and, and uh, change the partition type uh, so that we can actually uh, make use of the full three terabytes. So what we wanna do is we've gotta get out of this. We're gonna exit. Uh, do I wanna quit? Yes. And we're gonna go back. So I'm installing Hyper-V server uh, via a USB key here. So we're gonna go and repair uh, the computer. And then we're going to go and uh, troubleshoot. And that gets us into a command prompt. And then from here, we type in this part, which is a disk partitioning tool. And uh, once that starts up, uh, we can have a look at the current configuration. So uh, the trick here is the MBR uh, um, format does not allow anything above two terabytes. Uh, and so if, you, if these days everybody's got more than two terabytes in the server we're going to go in and type uh, list volume and you can see currently uh, this is my USB key uh, and so we don't want to mess with that if you do have partitions on this disk uh, so we're going to go select um, select disk zero but if you do have partitions on this disk you have to delete the partitions first and you do that by going um, well let's go uh, again list volumes oops uh, list volume and then you can see it says volume zero there if I had other partitions they would show up here and then I say delete volume uh, well first sorry I select the volume select volume and I would say zero whichever one I want to delete uh, and then I would go in here and delete volume to delete that so that's really important if you've got partitions uh, on here they have to be deleted first okay once that's done super super easy list disk and we've already done that you can see I have currently disk one selected we want to select disk zero that's my three terabyte uh, drive uh, and now once it, once it's selected uh, now what I can do is type convert GPT so now I'm uh, converted not to the MBR but the GPT format I can exit I can exit uh, I'm going to turn off my PC here and then we're going to reboot. Now we're going to just speed up the video to go through this really quickly because booting this uh, HP server takes forever. Okay, so here we're back at it. Press 11 for a boot menu, and then we have three for boot from USB. Now this is gonna uh, boot me back into the Hyper-V server 
um, setup. Now, one thing that we've learned about uh, using Hyper-V server is you pretty much need to use it with a active directory. If you're looking to uh, be on the cheap and that's why you're using Hyper-V server, uh, great product, but trying to manage it without active directory is a huge pain in the butt. Uh, so you want to have uh, uh, an active directory server that you, and make this Hyper-V server join uh, that domain and then you can use the GUI Hyper-V management tools uh, to connect to this and set it up. The other thing that we've uh, we've learned is if you're using Hyper-V Server 2016 uh, you need to have Windows 10 uh, Hyper-V tools. Uh, Windows 7, Windows 8 Hyper-V tools will not manage uh, Hyper-V uh, 2016 server. It's just, it, it doesn't connect. Okay, so uh, look at that. Now we've got uh, basically three terabytes of space that we can partition. So that's what you need to do. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Lots of great technical videos at uh, Healy, uh, sorry, uh, youtube.com slash Heliacanda. Also, I've got a coupon for you at the end of this coup, uh, this video uh, for our online store, www.buyphonesonline.ca, office phones, uh, ubiquity equipment, lots of great uh, stuff on there. Thanks for watching. I'm Dar with Helia. Bye for now.